I just put out a video like yesterday. We're gonna do another one today. Kinda got to thinking about some of that stuff I seen yesterday. There's a lot of guys that's already uh, company drivers and they want to jump jump into being an owner operator or a lease operator. Stop. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just telling you to stop. Slow your roll. Step back a little bit. Take a big deep breath. If you got the funds, you know, sometimes they want $10,000, $15,000 now. Uh, had I had somebody in my ear, uh, and some in this ear, somebody was in this ear and I, slow your roll a little bit. Had I had somebody in my ear, kind of, guiding me through, when I initially got my truck, oh, I can't remember how much, I can't remember how much I put down, but anyway, I had the funds, I could have bought a $10,000, $15,000 truck in cash, you know, I wouldn't have had the APU, because I, I turned around, I I uh, bought an APU. Hell, just with the money I paid out on the APU, I probably could have bought a, uh, an old truck. Uh, you know, I say a lot of my videos, I, I I talk about don't don't uh, don't let ego drive you. I'll say it again: don't let ego drive your decisions. Don't let it drive your truck. Don't don't let it drive any of your decisions. Uh, yeah, we all want a nice, pretty, shiny truck. But when you're starting out, it's more important to have a good truck. No payments. If you can get a truck with no payments, uh, and then turn around and put that 12 or or uh, $1,700 or $1,800 or $2,000. Buddy of mine, he's paying 2500 $2, a month. Uh, yeah, it's a new truck. It was a new truck when he bought it. But um, you're better off buying that $10,000 truck, 2000 2003. Buddy of mine over in Florida, I call him a little Russian. Uh, he, uh, he bought a truck from a guy that he knows and it had an overhaul in it. Uh, it had over a million miles on it when he bought it. I think he paid 10 grand for it, 10 or 15. Uh, I think it was 10. He bought an older trailer from the same guy when he first started with the company he was leased to. I think he paid 8,000 for it. It was 20, 18, 20 years old. But it's all profit. You know, everything you're driving is, it's, you're not paying that big money out. And like right now, the rates aren't real good. So you aren't making that much. And if you figure out your rate, because you don't have truck payment and all that stuff, uh, you, uh, your bare minimum, what you got to do to haul make a profit there's a lot left it's like before we paid this truck off the trailer uh, we was uh, I think our bottom line just covered all the bills house bills and truck bills was like 208 a mile <laughs> and in this in, in this economy right now uh, if you're getting two dollars a mile you're doing great I mean way great uh, you know, you might have some short hauls, not very many miles, uh, local stuff, kind of, uh, that it works out, you're over $3 a mile. And great. 
but it, those are few and far between. Uh, never count on the high stuff. Always count on that low stuff. But back to your truck, if if you got one that's paid off, you ain't got to worry about it. Not only you got to worry about is maintenance. If you're if you're in a company driving position, stay there. If you got the money uh, to buy the truck, find the truck. You know, if, if you prefer Freightliner, Kenworth, well, whatever it is, it don't matter. You find that older truck, pay ten, twelve thousand dollars for it. You got a place to park it. Most of these shops all over the country, these smaller shops, uh, you can park it there and slowly have them work on it, you know, uh, to have your basics. Make sure your stuff ain't falling off, but make sure mechanicals are good. Uh, engine, you know, your your suspension, uh, brakes, uh, you know, your axles, your seals, your bearings, uh, all that, your fifth wheel. And then, you know, if you're gonna do your own trailer, same thing there, buy the main thing, park it there, have them work on it, make sure it's it's it's, it's all right. Lights, everything. Uh, make sure you're legal running down the road before you take it. And then all you gotta do is when it's rounded up and ready to go, as you're doing that, once you get up closer to it, find the company you're gonna put it with. Uh, but yeah, slow your roll, take a breath, step back, get a game plan. Try and get that truck to where you don't have no payments. My idea was, was I was in this mindset of newer is better. In some cases, maybe so. But when you're first starting out, uh, it's not that good, you know, because you're, you're learning. You're going to make mistakes. And the less payments you have, the less outgoing money you have, and the more incoming money you have, the better off you're going to be when you do make those mistakes. You know, heck, you can, you can make these mistakes and go out of business because of one one bad mistake. So, slow down, step back, uh, and come up with a, a, a good, manageable uh, game plan. And when you make a plan, don't make it in stone. Things will happen. Uh, uh, market trucks, value trucks, uh, everything uh, goes up and down. So make you know, make it a living plan, a living, breathing plan that you can move around and, and make changes. Everything. Um, it's to your benefit. Just because this guy over here, you know, is able to do this, that, and the other, uh, like my buddy out there, he pays, you know, twenty-five hundred dollars a month for his truck. Uh, he's leased to a guy, they uh, company, and they they they've got a dedicated deal. He runs the same thing every week. He gets paid same same pay every week. All he's got is a truck. Don't have no trailer, no nothing. He knows what he's going to make all the time. Uh, if you're in a case like that, you might be all right with a small payment. But you're going to have a break now. You're better off not having that payment and the breakdown. Find a mentor. Uh... Send me a message, send me an email. Uh, find someone else. Make sure they've been in the business a while. Because they're, they're uh, 
they're going to have the experience of uh, knowing a lot of this stuff. Uh, and no, be able to read if somebody's blowing smoke up your ass. If somebody's blowing smoke up your ass, yeah, you can talk to them, but don't use them as a mentor. Like I tell my kids about raising their kids, don't be their friend. They're going to have enough uh, screwed up friends. So don't get more screwed up friends when you're trying to figure things out. They might make you astray. I'll leave this video at that. For you guys jumping into the owner operator or lease operator thing, good luck and be prosperous. And as usual, like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a good day.